This tutorial is about the use of struts and how they can be used to move other parts of a pop-up. In this case, we're looking at sort of cupboard doors or doorways. So the first one I want to show you is from Raven, Paper Engineering by David Pelham. This book is an absolute masterpiece. And if you're gonna buy any pop-up book, this is the one I would recommend. But anyway, here it is. As you open the spread, the door opens and it's all moved by this strut. This arm is actually a strut that goes right through the doorway, behind the figure, behind the curtain, and attaches to the base. Actually looking at it here, I think it is part of the curtain. The curtain is part of the strut that pushes the door open. If you look at it end on, you can see the whole thing. It's not actually a parallelogram. It's an asymmetric parallel fold. Asymmetric parallel folds are tutorial six. This is related to the tutorial 43, which was a hand unfurling, and this is a similar sort of thing. There are a lot of other really nice examples. There's one here, a pop-up book of nursery rhymes by Matthew Reinhardt. Just under this flap. So we open the flap and there it is. Old Mother Hubbard and there's two struts, one here and one here. They're opening the door and the door actually moves this figure of Old Mother Hubbard. I'll explain how to do that later on as well. So that's that one. And then there's Fairies and Magical Creatures by Matthew Reinhardt and Robert Sabuda. And if we look at this one, it's under the flap on the side. This is the one I'm interested in. This is the mechanism we'll be doing. It's an asymmetric V-fold with this is the strap. The goblin's arm is the strap which is opening the door. And this, although it looks similar, it's not. This is different. You can see the figure is lifted by this V-fold here. And this door is lifted by an asymmetric V-fold here. The asymmetric V-fold that lifts this is in tutorial 29. It's the asymmetric V-fold used to lift a plane at right angles to the spine or the main fold. But, so that's just, by the way, this is the one we're interested in, the strut lifting up the door. And the last one I want to show you, Dragons and Monsters. Again, it's by Matthew Reinhardt and Robert Sabuda, those masters of the pop-up art. And here it is. It's not the main mask. It's this little one here. This is a variation. This is the flap in essence coming up. This is the strut that pushes up the flap. But in this case, the strut that pushes it up projects through the flap that lifts. So you've got more image here. And then where the parallel fold attaches to the base, you've got these V-folds attached. You know, that's a gully. And so you've got these V-folds glued into it, lifting more wings. So it, it's a much more fancy version, really. So we'll look at my version. This was one I made. You can just see very clearly it's an asymmetric V-fold. Here's the strut pushing it up. And you can see, looking at this, if you want to develop it, well, like that one I just showed you, the strut could project through the lid and you could have pieces sticking out here. You've also got a whole lot of gullies, which as the page closes, those are gullies that you can build into. So there's a gully here where the lid comes down. There's a gully here where the parallel fold closes. You've also got gullies at each end. So there's a lot of scope for developing and enhancing these. When I was playing around with it, I made these two small ones. I tried sticking the strut that's pushing up the lid. I tried pushing it at different positions to see if it would lift the lid at a different angle. And it, it seems, it's rather subtle, but it seems that if the strut is stuck closer to the spine, it makes the lid move faster. So if you watch it closing, these are both identical, apart from this strut is stuck close to the spine. And it does seem that lid moves a bit faster, but... That might just be a quirk of the model I've made, or it might be my imagination. I don't know. I tried making the strut longer, and as you can see, it just, no, it doesn't work. The strut has to be a specific length, or it just goes funny. Unless it is actually lifting this up, and you have got two other planes you could play with, so maybe that would be something you'd want to incorporate in a design. 
and then this was the one similar to the old Mother Hubbard where you've got the basic mechanism raising the lid and then you've got this extra piece put on. So in the old Mother Hubbard case it would be like this and this extra piece would come down much longer to make the figure of the old lady. The head of the old lady is a parallel fold built into this gully. So here's the piece. I'm making it all double thickness. The dimensions. Everything is going to be double thickness. And so the height I've got is seven. Seven centimetres, seven centimetres. The long side of this asymmetric parallel fold is eight. The short side is four. The window, that this is going to be the window of the cupboard that the strut is going to come through, it just comes in one and a half all the way around from the edge. So that's the basic piece. This is going to be the door of the cupboard. This is five. The whole thing, as you saw, the whole thing is seven high. So this is seven high. This is sticking to the short side of the parallel fold. So that's four. So this is four. And then this is going to be the actual lid that moves. That's five. And the other thing to measure is where the strut sticks. This will be the edge. That's two centimeters in. We've got the strut. The strut itself, this is eight. And the strut is going to be triple thickness. So I've measured it so it can all fold over and be glued to make it triple thickness because it takes a bit of stress. And finally, while I'm at it, the bit that's going to be like the, the extra bit, like the old woman, that's going to also be eight and eight, exactly the same as the strut. And on the base where it sticks down from the spine to the crease, this is three and a half centimetres. So I'll just start sticking them all together now. First we'll stick the main piece, the glue. I would stick it closing down so you lose all the measurements, but I actually want to keep this, these one and a half so I can cut a neat window in it. So I'm going to stick it down behind it. And the other bit that needs sticking in advance is the, the strut. So I'll just check that's going to all fit together. This is the strip. It's eight centimetres long and then it's three lots of one centimetre wide. But one of them I've taken off an edge. So when you fold it up, it'll all close down really tight. So let's glue down the narrow a bit first. And then the... And the other one that's one centimeter close it down right that's the strut the main body of it you need to cut the window so I've glued it double first so I just get a neat cut there so I'll just cut this out Right. Take the base, glue A on first. So A, the long strip, A, the long strip. The crease goes 3.5 from the spine. If it was a normal parallelogram, we just glue this down with it all flat. But as it's an asymmetric parallel fold, we fold it down like that and then shut this so it'll find its natural place. Yeah. So we put glue on there. It actually doesn't matter which way the flat goes. It just either it'll be sticking out of the whole construction or it'll be sticking in. But the important thing is where the crease goes. You get where the crease is going to go by folding this into its shut position and then shutting this.
That's the asymmetric parallel fold. This is B, this is B. So we stick this onto that there. And then C is where the strut's going to go. So we'll glue that all on. The strut is C, so we'll glue the, the strut on there. You can see it's two centimetres from that fold line. Put the crease on there. And then we've got to, to find where the other end goes. You're going to glue it with the whole thing in the closed position. The strut is going to glue underneath. You need to glue it with everything in the closed position. So the door is going to be in the closed position. The whole card is going to be in the closed position. So we just open it up, put some glue on that tab there. Feed it through the doorway. Close the lid down. Close the whole card. Shut it down so it can find where it wants to stick. And there we go. It's, um, so that's lifting up the, the door. Now if you want to add this extra piece, this is also two lengths of eight, eight centimetres, eight centimetres. So we just stick one of these onto here. So I put glue on there. And put it in there. The crease is right on the edge. And then if we look at that one I'd made, uh, this is it. So you can see how it, how it closes. It's going to fold back like that. So you put this like that and you put glue on the other tab. So then with everything in its closed down position, you shut it so it can find where it wants to glue. There it is. So, so that's the use of the strut to open a cupboard door. Thank you very much.